as we lift up our hands and look to jesus make one sign of the cross on our body in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen today's promise word that is going to be fulfilled through mamma maria rosary and also through the divine mercy chaplet and to the adoration ezekiel chapter 36 verse 9 ezekiel 36 9 is the promise word there are four promises in one word four promises or one word has four aspects of the promise what is that the lord says behold i comfort you those who are afflicted those who are wounded those who are stressed out and those who have no hope and those who are agitated the lord says i comfort you be comfortable in this place be comfortable wherever you are while looking to jesus as the lord almighty giving you this message what is that message i comfort you what is second one i will turn to you i will come to you wherever you are i come to you and the third i will give you a work a profession a means of earning according to your own choice some people want to farmer the lord make you a farmer some of you want to become businessman or business person the lord gives you that chance some of you want to become professor the lord makes you a professor some of you want to be a doctor or an engineer or a technician or a priest or a nun so you will have a profession and the fourth one i will give you harvest i will give you some result a good result in the field where you are going to work lift up your hands and take this promise one promise has four aspects what is the first one god says jesus says i comfort you second one i will turn to you i'll come to you and fourth one i will give you the time of plowing a time of work you will have a career a means of income and last one the fourth one what is the fourth you will get a success you will have a very har- good harvest so those who want to have a fulfillment of these four aspects of the single promise that is in ezekiel chapter 36 verse 9 Mama Maria beseech your son Jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions someone who is suffering of throat cancer that person is looking to Jesus according to the promise given by prophet Ezekiel I will comfort you the one who has throat cancer the lord says to you Ezekiel 36:9 I will comfort you amen second one i will come to you third one i give you a wonderful career after the healing of your throat cancer last one i'll give you lot of progress in the business that i give it to you so fear not the lord says through his promise your comfort and your consolation and your career and to your success it is promised believe and receive it just in our hands towards the sanctuary just believe and grab your blessing just believe believe in jesus the one who has given the promise is still alive and he is able to fulfill it because we have seen thousands of testimonies around us how god has fulfilled his promises daily in the life of logosians one day or other all those who are looking to jesus now will become witness to christ jesus do you believe it yes father you are my witness acts 18 you are my witness. witness that means everyone will get this promise fulfilled in their life 
God will comfort you. You will have a testimony. God will visit you. You will have a testimony. God will give you a career. You will have a testimony. And you will get a harvest and a success. You will have a testimony. Those who are in need of success, comfort in the family and business, extend your hands towards the century. In the name of Jesus, I bless your family. The Lord has given you a family after his own name. Ephesians 3.15 Every family takes its origin from God and takes its name from God. The Lord may bless your family and give you wonderful blessing. Let your family be turned as heaven on earth. Assisting partner be turned as the best partner. Children be spirit filled. Those who have no children, let them receive the power to conceive. And those who have no house, the Lord may give you a house of your own with a garden around it. And the Lord may give you a career. And the Lord may give you success in your career. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I bless your family. Those who have no grace to form their own family. Whatever be your age, if you are above 20, not settled your life in holy matrimony or divine occasion. Right now the Lord gives you the grace to form your own family. Those who want to form your own family, extend your hands towards the sanctuary. All those who want to marry and settle your life in holy matrimony, extend your hands towards the sanctuary. In the name of Jesus, I bless all youngsters and all those who are future candidates to form the families. Let them be blessed and let their prayers be answered and they may get a suitable partner today. Genesis 2.18 I will give you a partner. With gratitude, you have to accept that partner. What God has given to you, you have to accept it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I bless your means of income. I bless your career. Bless your profession. Bless your business. If it is not so good, the Lord may make it good because He is good. The good Lord will provide you what you need through your career. The Lord says, Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 9, today's promise word, Surely I comfort you in the place where you are. Be in the presence of Jesus. He will open a door for you through which you will have a wonderful means of income. The door is closed by the devil. Jesus comes, he opens a door. Do you believe? Yes, Father. Who opens the door? Jesus. Revelation 3, 7. He will open a door for Logosians. Amen. When devil comes, he closes a door for the Logosians. So that devil cannot enter. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, extend your hands like this. Extend your hands like this. One door is opened. Another door is closed. The open door is for you to go out to find out your way. The closed door through which the devil used to come in. Now, Jesus closed it. Is it wonderful or not wonderful? Wonderful. Revelation 3, 7. I will close a door. I will open a door. Why he closed the door? That is the door through which the devil and demons coming in. All evil trying to come in, that is closed now. All the good things that you have to get it or you have to receive it, that door is being opened because God is good all the time and devil is all the time bad. So that door of the demon and devil is being closed and the door of blessing is opened. In the name of Jesus, I pray over all Logosians around the world. A door of blessing be opened. What all things are closed in your life. But you need it. Let it be opened. What all things are opened and the demons or problems are coming in through it let that way be closed right now the wrong ways are closed right ways are opened thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus